many people forget the basics of why they want to start up a company. And um, the approach that I always ask these people when they, they come to me with their idea is, what do you want? What are you looking to achieve? Are you looking to build a really big company and with lots of people and be the next Alcon Novartis? Do you want to license the technology or um, do you want to um, not only license the technology but build it to the point of acquisition and then move on to the next technology? So I always ask the, the inventor, usually it's the inventor, what do you want at the end? Intellectual property is a term that everybody uses, but many people don't understand. And in order to protect an idea, there's two obstacles that that person must overcome. First one is rather easy, it's called inventive step, so it has to be useful. And then the second is novelty, and that's the hardest obstacle to overcome to achieve your patent. Um, what, um, when clients come to me and they ask me, um, or they present to me their idea or their invention, the first question I ask is, who have you told? and what have you presented? Because the instinctual reaction when an academic researcher or clinician uh, finds something out or invents something is they want to tell the world, they want to publish, they want to present, they want to be on that podium and being declared the, the inventor of this type of method. But in actuality, that will kill their, the novelty of their patent and they won't get protection and they can't later license it or earn any type of royalties or any type of financial gain from this idea. And so those are the two steps that I recommend. Um, make sure that it's useful, which is the easy one, the easy of the two, easier of the two, and the second is to make sure that it's protected and not novelty breaking in terms of what their activities were until they filed for the patent application. Again, it's really to understand, um, well, when the clients present, um, I want to ask them what do they want to achieve? What are they hoping to do? Are they trying to demonstrate um, a proof of concept model that it sells in a particular market? If so, what's the high incident, is there a high incident rate for a particular disease or, or for this type of treatment? And then, of course, we approach that country. Another factor is where are your key opinion leaders? Who are the people that already adopt your method and already accept your technology to be able to enter this market? And then that's usually an easy way in. Another are considering distributors. Are distributors interested in your product if you're using that market strategy? If so, then look at those markets.